Hey staff, Pat Sasserchi. Uh, I'm on YouTube at Pat Sasserchi here in Cleveland, Ohio in the States. Uh, what I'd like to see on the Friday Flying School is uh, fuel management in the Cirrus and more specifically lean of peak operations. Anything you do would be great. Love to see it. Thank you, that was an awesome question from Pat, Pat Sisechi. Uh, Mike, he was asking about fuel management in the Cirrus, and in particular something we do a lot on those long legs, which is leaning the aircraft. Um, so what are your tips, your best practices for how, how we manage our fuel and lean the aircraft in well, SR-22? The, the easiest way is to fly exactly how the book wants you to fly. So what we're going to do here is I've set the power setting up to 75%. So what I'm going to do now, and it's nice and stable, is I'm going to go to lean assist. Now, what I'm going to do then is slide the mixture back. Now, you can see that we have a fuel endurance of three and a half hours. So you can see my fuel flow reducing now. I'm not doing it radically fast. And the one thing to keep in mind, that these lag really badly. So I'll just stop and let them just stabilise. And it's going to look for the first peak. So I'm just bringing the power back now and what's going to happen is that we'll get our first peak and now it's looking for the last peak. There's the last peak. So now I'm just looking at 50 degrees lean on the last. So it's coming up to minus 50 there. Now, if you go a little bit too late, just give it a, a little bit more, a little bit more fuel flow. Yep. Just get it there. So it's pretty close to there. How are we looking? Well, we've gone to 5,044 minutes, from three and a half hours to 5,044. Wow. We've also got a fuel flow of 14.4, which is much better than what we had. So we've got 72% power at 14.4. Now I can come back a little bit further to reduce any cylinder head temperatures if I need to. The yeah. beauty about the Cirrus is that the from on the cylinder head temperatures, the uh, lean of the cylinder head peak, it slopes quite dramatically as opposed to the slope of the EGT peak. So yeah. the more you lean back, the cooler your CHTs are going to Oh, yeah. In this particular situation, our CHTs are fine. So it may say too lean, but you may, if you find that your CHT is too hot, just lean a little bit further, and that will just keep these cool. Now, one thing to note, we're about 14.1 gallons. We're about 71% power. So if I enrich this, and go back to our 75%, I can get the same result by simply, we've got 23 gallons there, I can actually get the same result by just bringing the mixture back. And there we can see it's starting to come back and we're at 14.1 gallons an hour and 71% and those CHTs are starting to descend on the lean side of peak. Now, any time you do it that way, you have to ensure that you are 50 degrees lean of peak as per the pilot operating level. Okay. Thanks very much for the question, Pat. It was a great one. Now, if you've got your own question that you want to submit for the next episode of Friday Flying School, do exactly what Pat did. Just get your smartphone, shoot me a quick video, and mail it to me at the address down here. And just let me know what you'd like Mike and I to film in the next episode here on Friday Flying School. Also, a big thank you to Air RTP. Now, they provide the aircraft for the Friday Flying School segment. So without them, this whole thing wouldn't be possible. If you're looking to do any kind of flight training, if you're just starting out, you want to get your RPL, your PPL, maybe a commercial license, Cirrus transitions, whatever you're looking for in that kind of area, chat to the guys at Air RTP, ask for Rob, tell him I sent you, and I'm sure they'll look after you. Oh, as well, limited edition Friday Flying School hats. Now, not only can you wear these hats and get people pointing at you and saying, why have you got FFS on your head? But also, if you buy one of these, you will be supporting the Royal Flying Doctor Service 
of Victoria. There's a limited supply available on my website, steph747.com forward slash shop. 10% of all sale proceeds go directly to the Royal Flying Doctor Service of Victoria. Make sure you click that subscribe button below. There's new videos coming out every single week and get your video submissions to me as well. I wanna know what you wanna see here on Friday Flying School.